Hey guys, Bud's Education here and welcome back to the 3DS Max Begin Modeling series. And in today's episode, we're going to be advancing on the previous episode and we're going to be using modifiers to essentially modify some of the basic shapes that we made in our previous episode. So if you quickly take a look in my uh, viewport, you can see we've got some of the basic shapes. However, they're slightly different to how they were before. So for example here, we've got this little tube and you can see that it has been bent. And we've got this cube and you can see that it's been twisted and we've got another cube here you can see we've got it's been a little it's been tapered a little bit so what I want to do now is to show you how to use some modifiers to actually you know do this kind of stuff so let's just go ahead and uh, start from scratch and I will try and explain uh, try and explain it real quick for you so let's just go ahead and start off by making a quick tube so just go over to the create tab go to geometry go to tube and I'm just going to drag a small one out real quick for you. I'm not going to make it too big. I want to make sure that you can see it here. Now, you can set the parameters to this for whatever you want. Um, so just keep in mind. Yeah, that, yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, we're just experimenting here. So let's just go ahead and go over to the modify panel now. So to do that, just click the little rainbow looking thing over here. And uh, you can see we've got this new little interface. Now, I'm just going to try and break it down for you. But the most important bit is here, you've got your modifier list. So you can choose a modifier to use on your object. And then you've got all the modifiers that you actually have applied to your object. And they'll be shown here. And I'll show you a few little things in more detail later on in the video. And then you've got the parameters of the uh, modifier, which you will see uh, will come up in a moment. So let's just go ahead and choose a modifier to use on this. So what I'm going to choose first is I'm going to use the bend modifier. Now to choose this, you can scroll down and find it, or you can just type in bend and it will highlight itself just like that. Now. Now that I've done that, you can see that we've got the bend modifier has popped up above a uh, tube over here. And you can see that uh, we've got a little light, uh, light icon over here. And this allows us to turn it on and off in the viewport. Now you can see it's not doing anything at the moment because the uh, the modifier is hasn't really hasn't really got any strength to it. We've set the angle is set to zero. So let's just go ahead and turn the angle up real quick. So you can see it start to bend just like that. And if I go ahead and turn it on and off, you can see that the modifier is uh, this bit is being applied, and you can see it in the viewport. Also, when you do have it off, you can also should you should also be able to see we got this little wireframe view of how your modifier is going to look when you uh, turn it on. So that's quite a cool uh, little feature you got there. But I'm going to leave it turned on for now. So let's just go ahead and play around with some of the parameters here. Now, keep in mind the parameters are going to be different for all the different kinds of uh, modifiers that you use. I'm only going to be going over a few modifiers today. What I want you to do is go ahead and play around with them, experiment, do whatever, and find out what some of them do. So let's just go ahead and play around with some of the parameters. Obviously, like I showed you, you've got your angle here, which allows you to change pretty much how... Uh, the angle of your bend. So if you wanted it to be a 45 degree angle, you can see it bends over uh, pretty much just a little bit there. Or we can turn that up to a 180 degree angle and you'll see that it's going to do pretty much a half a circle, 180 degrees. And then we've got the axis. So you've got the X, the Y and the Z. Um, but with bend, you're probably only really going to want to use it on Z. So that's pretty much all there is for bend. Let's go ahead and try another one. So I'm going to leave that object uh, how it is. Um, also, uh, something else you might want to keep in mind, um, when you are uh, creating using modifiers, you might want to change the amount of polygons to get uh, a more smooth result when you're creating your object. So let me just go ahead and show you that real quick. So if I go to create and then tube, I'm just going to make a, a basic one here and I'm going to increase the height segments up a little bit and uh, the si and the sides as well to make it more smooth and now when I do go to use this uh, bend modifier um, bend and then turn the angle up you can see it's a lot more smooth in the viewport here and that will really show uh, in the video games that you make so I'm just gonna leave that, that that one there as well now so let's just go ahead and create a box and we're gonna try out another uh, modifier so let's go ahead and get a nice little view of that and we're going to use a modifier called taper so I'm just going to type in taper again it's going to pop up and we got all the parameters here for uh, ta uh, for taper now obviously like I showed you in the previous object you've got it uh, you got the little light icon up here and taper has come up above the box 
Also, you can have more than one modifier on uh, your object, but obviously that's going to complicate things a little bit. I don't want to overload you, but uh, play around with it if you want to. So let's use taper. So what taper does, essentially, it just uh, increases the size of pretty much the top face of your object here. So we've got the taper amount, two times, three times, uh, one time, or whatever. Uh, just play around with it, experiment, do what you can. Then you've got your uh, taper axis, play around with it once again, there's really not that much to it. So I'm just going to leave that object there, and you can see I can turn it on and off again, and we've got the wireframe view. Uh, next to it as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and play around with one more modifier. So I'm going to get another box, just going to drag it out nice and simple, and I'm going to use the twist modifier. So from the modifier list, click it, type in twist, and then it's going to be applied to the box. And then what we can do is we can change the twist angle, and you can see it's starting to twist my little box here. Now that's pretty much everything I really want to go over with you guys uh, in today's episode. Um, there's, I don't really want to go over modifiers in too much detail. Uh, just play around with all the different kinds of modifiers you see on the list to try and work out what they do. Um, most of them, you probably won't use them in uh, real world examples, but play around with it. You may find them quite useful. Uh, but that's pretty much everything for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and make sure you stay tuned to the series. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>